This is Paul McKenna for PT Boxing in association with the S News with me. Jose Burton, how are you mate? Okay? Alright, thanks man. Good stuff. Uh, been getting some work in today, obviously your next fight December the 10th. Defending the British title against Frank Buglioni. Everything there uh, going well? Camp going well up to now? Everything's going as uh, good as it can be. Mm. Um, just getting some good sparring in now. Yeah. Um, everything uh, is as expected. Mm. Looking forward to the fight. Uh, yeah, it's a fight I'm looking forward to. It's um, a bit of a big name. Mm. He's got a big mouth himself, so it should be a good fight. Yeah, obviously. It, uh, would you say the, the, the biggest name up to date in, in, in your career, personally? He's the biggest name, but is he the best fighter? No. Mm. Um, but yeah, he's the biggest name. Okay. Uh, I know there is a little bit of uh, there is a little bit of Neil in the fight. Uh, does that uh, does that help in, in the fact that it, it gives it that extra little bit of motivation or that extra little bit of spite for you to? I'm motivating for anybody, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt any. You mm. know, I'm motivated to fight to fight anybody. Mm. So just because he's got a little bit of bit of big man's words, yeah. you know, doesn't bother me at all. Obviously, uh, I had a good year, 2016, I believe, uh, four wins out of four, four stoppages as well, so yeah. it's uh, obviously you got your hands on that British title and, and, and looking successfully defending it in, in December, so as you say, he is, uh, regardless of whether he'd be the best fighter you, you fight up to now or not, he's a, he's a big name, people do know Buglioni is, and there is certain people that are backing Buglioni to win the fight, so um, it's down to you to go out there yeah, and, and show them. backing him will work for his dad, you know, on the scaffolding. <laughs> So they're the only ones who's backing him. Anybody who knows about boxing is backing me. Mm. Um, you can't go into work scaffolding and saying, oh yeah, fancy burnt to uh, not put Leone out. Because yeah. you're going to lose your job, aren't you? <laughs> well, yeah, possibly. Um, I was checking, I was having a little look at uh, someone was tweeted last night, and the bookies have got you like a one to three on yeah. favourite. So they believe you're the favourite in the fight, obviously, you're confident. So uh, looking to not just go out there and get the win, no looking on uh, putting a statement on. Um, I'm just looking to get the win, you know. I, I look to get the win on any opponent. Just how it comes, it comes, you know. I'm not too bothered if I knock him out or if he goes the distance, which I do think it, I will knock him out because mm. I think he's a bit too easy to catch. Mm. Um, so, yeah, knockout could be on the cards. What do you make of uh, Buglioni's career up to date? Obviously, he's uh, won the same amount as you, but lost. He's a great salesman. Two. He's a great salesman. Mm. Um, his career is based on how good he can sell tickets. You know he's fought for a world title, mm. but he can also sell a thousand tickets. Mm. Would he have fought for a world title if he could sell 200 tickets? No, he wouldn't have. Do you um, think that's what sort of carrying him to? Listen, Frank Warren's not a stupid man. You know, Frank Warren got every penny he could out of Buckley only mm. for selling tickets, getting easy enough world title chance. You know, and he failed. He got knocked out by a middleweight. Um, yeah, Kamitsky, yeah. Kamitsky. Yeah. And then he had a, a, a grueler with, um, what's his name? Was it Markham? Lee Markham? Yeah, yeah Lee Markham. Yeah. Had a grueler with him. And then got beat, beat up off, his, off a natural middleweight again. Mm. You know, with um, Chudnoff. He, he's, he's a small super middleweight. Do you think the fact that it's at light every week could play a big factor in the fight? He cannot beat me out my every way. He cannot be at the top and bottom of it. Mm. Um, maybe if I was to go down to super middleweight where I can't, you know, I can't make super middleweight, it might be a harder fight, but I am a natural light every way. Mm. He's not. Yeah. He's a failure at super middleweight, so he's thought give it a go at light heavy. Mm. Providing everything goes well December the 10th, uh, you'll get some. Good, good recognition for obviously beating Buglioni, defending the British title for the first time. Is uh, is the three defences something that you'd, that you'd like to do in 2017? Like yeah, yeah, I'd love to, to win it outright and keep that belt. Hmm. Um, hopefully everything goes well on this fight. I'll give um, Tony Dobson a, a, a chance because we was, we was lined up to fight once before. Hmm. He had an unfortunate injury. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, I don't mind him, I think he's, he's not a bad man. Mm, that was scheduled to be on the Bellew. Yeah, that was meant to be yeah, on the yeah. Bellew on the card, like, so, you know, he's not done enough to piss me off, mm. you know, so we can give him another shot. Yeah, so that's the plan, beat Buglioni, defend for the second time against Dodson, get one last yeah. one in and then move on then. That's it, yeah, move on. That's it, mate. Well, uh, on that note, uh, I'm, I'm sure 
the fans are looking forward to the send attempt, I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Uh, I know I am, so it's going to be an interesting fight. Um, just been speaking to Joe, and he said that I agree with it 100%. That you it being should. a commentator, I mean, a fucking cameraman yeah, yeah, yeah. interview, wherever you are, mm. who do you think will win the fight? Uh, honest opinion. I think you only get stopped. No, I'm joking. Uh, on, honest opinion, I think. I don't know whether it'll go. I think you might beat him on points. I might beat him on points. Yeah, I don't. Maybe a late stoppage. Late stoppage or points, in my it, it, that, that's that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, would you be shocked if I done him in two? I wouldn't say shocked. Yeah, just have a late stoppage. I, I, I've got, well, I still wouldn't be shocked because it's boxing. Anything can happen. But yeah, I can't, I can't see it going early personally. But why would you be shocked if you done him in two? I wouldn't be shocked. No. No. Well, let's see. If you do him in two, I'll speak to you after and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, right, mate, we'll listen. Uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with the 7th 10th. Best of luck and uh, we'll catch up with you soon.